Fifth grade, lesson 93. This is on comparative bar graphs. Now, up until this point, I'm just going to use the book um, to teach you this lesson, okay? So, see if the video picks it up real good. Uh, it, it can't, like, read, but it can see the... Okay, the bar graph? Yeah. Okay, so what I want to show you is that when you're looking at any kind of graph, you want to pay attention to what the graph is about before you even start reading the problems or what the questions are, okay? okay. So, what's the, what's the title of this bar graph? Average daily high temperatures. Okay, very good. So, this is about temperatures, okay? And what do you notice is down here? Um, what are these? Different places. Different places. So, different cities around the world. Rome, Italy, Car Caracas, Venezuela, Sydney, Australia, Paris, France, Tokyo, Japan. Okay? So, all around the world. These are just cities all around the world. Okay? Now, what do you notice is over here? Um, temperature. Uh huh. And how much is it going up? You see the going numbers? up more. Okay. So, as you can see, this is 20, 40, 60, 80, and the top one would be 100 if they wrote it that high. Okay. All right. So, the bottom one would be zero if they had written that. Okay. So, what I want you to see is let me go in and show you zero. Just a sec. I wrote zero right here and 100 up here because it's going up by 20s. Did you notice that? Okay, but there's a line in between 0 and 20, in between 20 and 40, a line in between 40 and 50. So what could we actually put on these lines? Uh, the middle number. The middle number. So what's in between uh, 20 10. and 40? Okay, 0 and 20 is 10. 10. Uh-huh. 20 and 40 is 30. Uh-huh. 40 and 60 is 50. So this is something you would do. Before you even started the problem. And then 60 and 70. Or 80. 70. 70. <laughs> and then 80 and 100. Uh, 90. 90. Okay. And so now we can just look at this graph and easily tell. Now, there's one last thing I want to show you. What do you see over here? January and July. January and July. January is what color? Green. And July is? Black. Okay. So now we know all everything about. So if I was to ask you, what is this graph going to be about? What are you going to tell me? Uh, about the temperature in different places. Different places. Very good. Seasons. Okay, in different seasons, because one's in July and one's in January, so winter and summer, basically. Yeah. Okay. So now listen to question A. In which city was the average July high temperature the highest? Okay. So we're looking at a city in July. So, July is black. That would be Rome, Italy. Which one is the highest? Rome. Rome, Italy. Okay. In which city was the average July high temperature the highest? You said Rome, Italy. It was close to what other city? Uh, Tokyo. Okay. But, again, Rome won because it was higher. Yeah. So, you would have put for A, Rome, Italy. Okay. B, in which city was the average January high temperature the lowest, okay? So we're looking at January, which is green. Green. And which was, when it was the temperature, Paris. the lowest? Paris. Paris, France. Very good. So, you see how you would do this? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do C together. Which city had the least difference? You'll have to really, we'll have to learn what that means. Which city had the least difference between these temperatures? Do you know why? Okay, so basically they were asking you from January to July, what was the difference in the numbers? Remember, difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. So we need to find from here to here how much was the difference in temperature. Okay. So let's see, this one's 50-ish and this one's 90-ish. So there's about a 40 temperature span. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one... Let's see, this one's about 70 and this one's about 80. About a 10 degrees span and a difference, okay? This one is 60 and 80, about a 20 degrees difference. This one's about 40 and 80, which is about a 40 degrees difference. And this one's about 50 degrees and this one's 90. So that's about a... 40 degrees difference. You see what I'm doing each time? Yeah. 90 to 50 is 40, 40 temperatures. So I went 90 minus 50 and got 40. Do you see what I'm doing? 
Mm -hmm. So, in which, which city had the least amount of difference between the temperatures? Oh, uh, Venezuela. Venezuela did. Car Carcass, yeah, Venezuela. I just said. Okay, very small amount of difference in between July and January. Very good. Okay, last question. Okay, for which city is the average January high temperature greater than the average July high temperature? Okay, so they're asking which city is the January high temperature greater than the July high temperature? So January is green. Which one had a greater green than black? Uh, Australia. Australia. Sydney. You're exactly right. Okay, so it asks what city is the average January high temperature is greater, the January is green, it's greater than the July. So what does that tell you? There's some, or there, well, January is hotter than July in Australia. Isn't that mm -hmm. crazy? So their seasons must be completely different than ours. Their, their summer must be around January. Yeah. Okay? So there you go. You get how, how it works? Yeah. All right. That is lesson 93.